Hey, 42 here. Just outside of Munich lies a sleepy village called Fugurai, where the rent for a whole year is just under one euro, 88 cents to be precise. So what do you get in exchange for your measly rent? A matchbox perhaps? A cupboard maybe? Is it made of strudel? No, you get a modestly spacious two bedroom apartment made of stone. Is it in a dodgy area? No, Fugurai is extremely safe and rather pretty if you ask me. It even sits inside its own walled enclave. People pay millions for that shit in America. The five gates of Fugurai are locked every day at 10pm, blocking off any passage in or out of the housing complex. The residents actually have to take turns to man a gatehouse to let stragglers in after 10pm who got locked outside, all of whom have to pay a fee of one euro for coming home late. What time do you call this, Steve? But, but, listen, Steve. I don't care if your car broke down on your way to visit your terminally ill grandma. It's two minutes past ten. That'll be one year's rent, please. But why is the rent so cheap, anyway? Well, Fugurai is the world's oldest social housing complex still in use. Fugurai sits in the Bavarian city of Augsburg, and it was created in 1520 to house the city's poorest residents. The rent was set at one Rhine Gilder when it was built, about 88 euro cents in today's money, and it hasn't changed since. The owners, which are still the same family that built the complex in 1520, have basically put a big middle finger up to inflation. Fugurai was built by a rather interesting bloke and one of the richest persons to have ever lived. Jacob Fugger, from the little known but highly influential Fugger family, but more about him in a minute. Altogether, there are 52 identical houses in Fugurai, each divided into apartments. There's also a town square and a church. But wait a minute before you go and tell your mum that you found a place of your own and you're moving to Germany, because you're probably not allowed to live there. Yeah, sorry, sit back down. If the rent sounds too good to be true, that's because there are strict rules for anyone wanting to rent their very own slice of super cheap gated community in Fugurai. To rent an apartment here, one must have lived at least two years in Augsburg, belong to the Catholic faith, and be extremely poor without any debt. Not only that, once you live in Fugurai, you are required to say free prayers every day day, thanking the Fuga family for allowing you to live there, and you must also pray for their souls. This place is like a cult. People usually have a grave dislike for bankers, which the residents of Fugurai all agree with. But when residents were asked about their opinion of the Fuga family, whom themselves were billionaire bankers, their opinion quickly changes. The residents here have nothing but endless good words to say about Jacob Fuga and his family upholding them almost as deities. Maybe they're just grateful for the fact that they have a house in a rather lovely city for just under one euro per year, or maybe it's the fact that they will be chucked out of Fugurai if they say otherwise. Hmm, I'm starting to think they should maybe rename this place to Little North Korea. I'm exaggerating of course, it's, it's not that bad. I'm sorry Lord Fugur, please don't evict my grandma. So, who is Jacob Fugger? Why was he so wealthy? And why did he create Fugerai? The Fugger family are a prominent family of European bankers who took over the infamous Medici family. Jacob Fugger was the wealthiest of the family and he was commonly referred to as Jacob the Rich by all who knew him. Jacob started out in the textile industry, trading with Italy. He then invested in mining, and soon came to control a huge portion of the silver and copper mining operations throughout Europe. Jacob also owned a bank, and actually minted coins for the Vatican, which enabled him to control the Catholic faith, and thusly control European politics, because at that time the Pope had his fingers in all those juicy political pies. For a short while, Jacob's wealth made his home city of Augsburg the banking capital of Europe. Jacob was worth the modern equivalent of $277 billion. If he was alive today, he would be the richest person in the world by a mile. But he was no saint. Jacob's path to riches was paved with deceit and political corruption. Some say he was even worse than the highly corrupt Medicis. 
He even created his own weekly newspaper just for his eyes that contained dirt on his competitors so that he could get ahead of them. He paid a lot of money for the newspaper to be researched, printed and delivered to him every week. One week he must have read some dirt on himself in his own newspaper because in an effort to dispel the bad press surrounding him and improve his public image, Jacob created the social housing complex of Fugurai to house the poorest of Augsburg's citizens, and he made the rent so ridiculously low it won Rhine Gilder that anyone could afford to live there. So why was Fugurai created? so that a ruthless capitalist could try to persuade the world that he was really quite a nice guy. Hey, it seems to have worked. Even today, the residents of Fugurai literally worship Jacob and the Fuga family. They've even opened a museum there to showcase the legacy of the Fuga family. So would you live in Fugurai if you could? All you have to do is worship a false deity that's been dead for 500 years. Oh, and never come home after 10 o'clock. They still haven't forgiven Steve. Thanks for watching. Meet the most audacious grandads this side of a Sunday roast. The so called Grandpa Gang pulled off the largest burglary in English history. Welcome to the weirdest city in Alaska, Whittier. But Whittier is the city that forgot how to city because it is home to just 220 people and they all live in one building.